All right, Trigos, what's that then? So this is not game day. Now, unless you've been living under a rock for pretty much the last 12 hours or so, he's back. He's back. The man, Martin Allen, the Messiah, he's come home. Yes, he is back as our manager. I don't care that it's his fifth spell in charge of Barnet. He's back home, and that's all that counts. When the news broke about midnight, I was up all night long. I was like a little kid on Christmas Day. I, I was so excited. I know that sounds silly, but trust me, with the season that we've had, it's the best signing we've done all season. Mr. Kianthos, you finally saw your fault, but you've corrected it. Well done. Kind of feel silly knowing that I made a bet so saying that if we stay up, I'll go on a diet. Well, we've got a long way to go yet. But now that Martin Allen's back, and let's be honest, he has saved us from relegation before, I might have to try and live to my word there. It's all right, I managed to down a six-pack of Mr. Kipling cupcakes anyway. It's all good. So what does that mean for Graham Wesley? Who gives a fuck? Fuck Graham Wesley. <laughs> it was a dreadful appointment. I can't believe we even made it, to be honest with you. That man should not be allowed to work in football ever again. He should have his license taken away from him after what he'd done to Farnborough. How he personally killed a football club just to boost his own reputation and ego. Disgusting. He should not be allowed to work in football ever again. They should take his license away from him. And I'm being deadly serious about that. But the problem is, he talks a good game. He can bullshit people into believing his philosophy. And Mark McGee has been shown the door as well. So it's see you later, Graham Wesley. And see you later, Mark McGee. And let's be honest, he was a dinosaur. You can't have someone like him working for your club who offers to fight football fans. And he showed how much of a dinosaur he was when one being our manager and playing a 4-3-3 in League 2. But not only that, he showed how much of a dinosaur and out of date he is with his football knowledge when he just mugged himself off on Sky Sports News when he's trying to commentate on games. The guy didn't have a clue. Full stop. He just did not know what he was talking about. Even if we do go down, I would be happy to stick with Martin Allen because you know that he's going to rebuild and start from scratch. It might be too little too late. It should have been done three months ago. It wasn't. It's done now. So let's just focus and just get behind the team. Martin Allen's first game in charge in his fifth spell away to Luton live on Sky but if anyone can do something with this team pull a rabbit out of the hat he knows where he belongs he knows where he's wanted and he knows where he's loved I just hope that he's learnt from his lesson now and he stays put eight games to go so I guess your plan failed didn't it Agent Wesley and I'm even going to go there and say Agent McGee as well where you two end up I couldn't give a shit Agent Wesley will probably end up up the road in the swamp with the Chavarats and if that's the case then I can't wait for the derby do you We'll wait until the game. So until next time, I'll see you later.